four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon Line and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. America has launched. All right, guys, brace yourself from the heat JavaScript is going to receive in the next few days and weeks because SpaceX has just used Chromium and JavaScript as a tech stack on Dragonfly 2 rocket, which is carrying real human beings into the space. And uh, once that, is, that was posted on internet, Hacker News and Reddit could not be more disappointed. Now, I have mixed feelings for this as well. As much as I like JavaScript, I would like to discuss both sides of the coin and uh, would just leave it to you what you think and let me know in the comments. Let's start this video. Alright, so let me just give you a context first of the thing what's happening. So SpaceX launched a rocket that is the Dragonflight in the space to dock with International Space Station on May 30th, 2020 and in that rocket they used Chromium and JavaScript for the UI rendering for the astronauts. That means that the controls astronauts are seeing on their screens for manual override are actually done with JavaScript which is running on the top of Chromium which is nothing but the open source version of Chrome and uses V8 as its engine. Now, mind you that all the other parts of the flight control are actually done in C and C++. Nothing has been done in JavaScript apart from the UI part. So that's one thing we should remember. Now some facts check. JavaScript is only used for the displays just like I mentioned. Number two, all the touchscreen controls on the flight had hard hardware backups for them. So in case if the display breaks or maybe if the display is not working, it's unresponsive, you can achieve the similar functionality which you would have with the controls with the hardware buttons which were below the screens. So you had basically hardware solution, hardware backups for pretty much everything critical you needed to do um, which you could do from the display controls. Number three, the flight, the rocket was completely autonomous that has that was tested again and again repeatedly. So basically astronauts need not to do a lot of things by themselves. The controls were there just in case they wanted to have a manual override if something went wrong with the CPU or maybe you know just they just have to take control of the situation. The displays were only for that particular moment. Number four, using Chromium and JavaScript does not mean that they were using Electron. So SpaceX nowhere mentions that they are using Electron. They nowhere actually specifies that they are not using Electron as well. But yeah, they could have made their own, um, you know, graphical user interface with the Chromium APIs, which the V8 exposes. A lot of people are saying that uh, displays is not a critical system that is why you know they can just get away with this it's fine it's okay i would say display is very much a critical system because you know if you are at the end time and you have to manually overwrite controls for docking to international space station that becomes a critical usage of that system right so you need to be absolutely certain that that thing is working Again, the thing is that you have hardware overrides for all of these functionalities. So there's that. The critical part is still, you know, is you can still fall back to the hardware solution. So that's not really a problem. So the positive side of the coin is that, well, you have JavaScript running in space and uh, the flight was successful. It has successfully reached the International Space Station and the astronauts are safe. So that means JavaScript did not do a lot of blunders in the in the UI panel. Also, Chromium has been around in the industry for very long. It's it's a rock solid tool. It's a it's a great virtual machine, the V8 engine, and uh, V8 is itself done in C plus C and C plus plus. So there's that. And finally, JavaScript is very very convenient for building UIs. You can see that the web is filled with 
so many web applications which are not only beautiful but mostly responsive as well you can have all those um you know corners cut down where you think that performance would be impacted you can design wonderful apps with great performance using javascript now as much as i like javascript myself there is definitely another side of the coin in this case now if you really want to understand that i would highly recommend you that if you are a javascript developer just think for a moment that you are not a javascript developer you're someone who has been told that there would be a language which would be used in the flight control user interface which would be used by astronauts in case there's a manual override needed and suppose that you're not a javascript developer you are a regular developer working with some other languages and here comes a language like javascript which in itself is not a bad language but never forget that it runs on chromium it runs on v8 and v8 is not bug free software you're gonna see that v8 has a lot of um, ongoing bug reports patches fixes all the time right that is number one number two javascript is not at all designed to be a language that works with mission critical things as much as i like javascript as much as i work with javascript i just cannot deny the fact that javascript is not the language to be used on a flight control mission on a flight um, carrying actual humans so the, the stakes are very high here you need to have if you're coding in a language like this you need to have hard real time runtime updates you know you sh your language should be formally correct you should have mathematical proofs that something would not break imagine you're an astronaut and you want you have to dock manually now to the international space station and you're using uh, the ui that is the screens in front of them and by any chance uh i don't know whatever happens chromium crashes or maybe javascript uh, garbage collector kicks in and it stays for a while for whatever reason there's a memory leak or whatever and you know things screw up so javascript is not a battlefield tested language chromium is not a battlefield tested framework for these functionalities special especially in aerospace and aeronautics they have their own standards of reliability and you know memory management and the real time actions so whenever you say something should happen something should happen this is on uh, this is how the missile control systems are actually built so there's a real time accuracy so yeah i mean chromium is all fun and good but for mission critical real time systems i would personally even even though i love javascript i would definitely think a lot of times not even twice a lot of times um using javascript on a mission like this but again because the ui always had a hardware backup control with them that that is the hardware equivalent and the ui was mostly just a fancy enhancement they could have controlled it from the mission control as well the rocket was itself autonomous i think they can get away with that but again just like i discussed the other side of the coin is not very beautiful either so i have mixed feelings i just expressed what they were so what do you think about this issue do you believe that was a good step or do you disagree with spacex let me know in the comments below and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video really quick